الله my dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani Channel, we once again welcome you in Silsila Charismatic Personalities of Islam. Alhamdulillah, today we've got another beautiful personality to talk about, a beautiful information insha'Allah Azzawajal. But before I mention that personality to you, let's make few good intentions because it is a saying of the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, Niyatul Mu'mini Khairun Min Amalihi intention of a believer is better than his actions and there is another hadith of rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam the part of that hadith is actions are based upon intentions so insha'allah today uh, i will present this silsila this program for the pleasure of allah wa ta'ala and remember that is the foremost intention of every believer. Whenever he is going to perform any good deed or a permissible task, he should remember that he is doing it for the sake of Allah wa ta'ala, to seek the pleasure of Allah wa ta'ala. And that is the foremost intention every mu'min should have. If you're watching us on Madani channel, you can make an intention that you will listen this silsila, this program from start till end for the pleasure of Allah wa ta'ala, insha'Allah azza wa jal. You will listen with utmost concentration because when you listen with concentration, you will remember what you learn. Once you remember what you learn, then it will help you to act upon. I make an intention, insha'Allah azza wa jal, to act upon what I say. And you can make an intention that you will also act upon what you learn from the blessed seerah of these charismatic personalities in the history of Islam, insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Dear respected viewers of Madani Channel, before we proceed ahead towards our main topic, let's listen one of the excellence of sending salat upon Nabi alayhi salatu wa taslim. The beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has said, one who recites Salat upon me on the day and night of Friday, Allah Azza wa Jal will fulfill his 100 needs. SubhanAllah. 70 of the hereafter and 30 of the world. And Allah Azza wa Jal will appoint an angel who will convey the Salat to my grave in such a way as gifts are presented to you. SubhanAllah. No doubt, even after I depart this life, my knowledge will remain the same as it is in my life. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Tu zinda hai wallah, tu zinda hai wallah. Mere tishm alam se chup jane wale. Wallah, you are alive. By Allah, you are alive. You're just hidden from my eyesight, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. My dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani Shalim, SubhanAllah, we heard that what are the blessings of sending salawat upon Nabi alayhi salatu was salam. Alhamdulillah, we should all make a habit to, to send more and more salawat upon Nabi alayhi salatu was taslim, especially the night between Friday and Thursday. The night of Friday, in other words. So we should send more and more salawat. And on the day of Friday, and not only these specific days, but every day. Whenever we get the chance, we should send salawat upon Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam in abundance. Insha'Allah azza wa jal. 
صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم Dear viewers of Madani channel, today in the personality, charismatic personality in this program, what we are going to talk about is none other than a personality who is known as Qutb Madina, subhanAllah. He is the Shaykh of my Shaykh, Maulana Muhammad Ilyas Attar Qadri Damat Barakatuhum Al Aliyah. Yes, we are going to talk about the spiritual guide of a living. Valley of this time, Maulana Muhammad Ilyas Qattar Qadri Damat Barakatuhu Aliya, who was his Shaykh we're going to talk about and inshallah we learn from the seerah of the Shaykh of my Shaykh Maulana Muhammad Ilyas Qattar Qadri Damat Barakatuhu Aliya. Sayyidi Qutb Madina Rahmatullahi Ta'ala was born in 1877 at Kalaswala of District Ziyakot, Sialkot, Pakistan. He rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi is lineal descendant of Sayyiduna Siddiq Akbar radiallahu ta'ala and he rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi received his early education in Ziyakot meaning Sialkot then for some time in Markazul Awliya Lahore and Chaukate Khaja Dehli in India. He rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi then under the supervision of Allama Maulana Vasi Ahmed Muhaddis Surti Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayh in Pilibhit, UP India, spent four years and acquired religious education. After completing Dawrai Hadith, Alhamdulillahi Azza wa Jal, Imam Ahl Sunnah Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayh performed the Dastar Bandi of Qutb Madina Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayh with his blessed hands, meaning Imam Ahmad Raza Khan Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi himself was present in the graduation ceremony and the Dastar Bandi was done by Imam Ahmad Raza Khan Alayhi Rahmatul Rahman. He Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi also pledged allegiance, took bay'ah from Imam Ahl Sunnah Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi and got the certificate of Khilafah just at the age of 18. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Here we was. In 1900, when Sayyidi Qutb Madina rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi was 24 years of age, rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi took leave of his murshid, Imam Ahl Sunnah, and came to Babu al-Madina, Karachi. Having spent some time here, he rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi went to Baghdad in order to get special blessings and favors from Sayyidina Ghafi Azam rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi. In Baghdad, he rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi had been utterly absorbed into divine mediation for almost four years. He rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi remained in the illuminated city of Baghdad approximately for nine years and some months. Allahu Akbar. The viewers of Madani channel, you're looking this personality, Sayyiduna Ziauddin Madani Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi, the great Shaykh of his time. And his title is Qutb Madina, Qutb of Madina. And Qutb is one of the titles of Awliya Kamilin, SubhanAllah, Awliya Kiram, the saints of Allah. And Qutb is one of the titles amongst those titles of the friends of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. So he was Qutb Madina. He started his Qutb Madina. Ziauddin Madani Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi. We are learning how he started his early education. Then he took his education from Merkazul Awliya Lahore. Then we heard that he uh, also took education from uh, Delhi, India. Then from Uttar Pradesh, India, subhanAllah. Then he took his Dastar uh, Bandi, subhanAllah, from Imam Ahl Sunnah, Imam Ahmad Raza Khan, Ali Rahmatu Rahman. He did his Dara Hadith, he was graduated, he got his degree. Then he leaves for Baghdad Sharif, Allahu Akbar, in order to quench his thirst for tariqah, subhanAllah. Dear Islamic brothers uh, and viewers of Madani channel, further, what happens? We also heard that for nine years and some months, he remained in the blessed city of Baghdad, subhanAllah. 
In 1327 after Hijri, 1910, Sayyidi Qutb Madinah Rahmatullahi Ta'ala entered in Madinah Yat Tayyibah, Zadahallahu Sharfan wa Ta'zima, following the route of Damascus, Syria, by train. Turkish rulers used to serve Madinah Tayyibah in those days. So now, Sayyidi Qutb Madinah Rahmatullahi Ta'ala said, When I arrived at Madinah, I experienced such a time that I had to starve for seven days. Allahu Akbar. He had to starve for seven days in the beginning. On the seventh day, when I got very weak due to hunger, a very dignified saint came to me and gave me three bags and left saying that he would bring some more things for me from the market. The first bag contained honey, second flour and the third one ghee. After some time, he brought me a packet of tea, sugar, etc. and returned immediately. I ran after him so that I could ask him the details, but he had disappeared. Subhanallah, subhanallah. It was a ghaybi madad. It was the help from unseen for Qutb al-Madinah, Ziauddin Madani rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi. He rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi replied, I presume that he might be the uncle of beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallama. Sayyid al-Shuhada, Sayyid al-Hamza radiyallahu ta'ala an. Because he radiyallahu ta'ala an has been entrusted with the vilayat sainthood of Madina Munawwara. Sadah Allahu Sharfan wa Ta'zima. Allahu Ghani. Allahu Ghani. This is the maqam of Sayyiduna Ziauddin Madani Rahmatullahi Ta'ala. How he is helped in Madina al Tayyiba. An unseen madad. And subhanAllah. The Islamic brothers, Sayyidi Qutb Madina Rahmatullahi Ta'ala had a great devotion to Sayyiduna Hamza radiallahu ta'ala. An. He would celebrate the urs of Sayyiduna Hamza radiallahu ta'ala an every year and would break his one fast at the shrine of Sayyiduna Hamza radiallahu ta'ala an. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala give me tawfiq and give you tawfiq. When we go to Madinah Munawwara zadahallahu sharfan wa ta'azima and we also go to the blessed shrine of Sayyiduna Hamza radiallahu ta'ala an. Ameen bijahin nabi al Amin. صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم. سيد قطب مدينة رحمة الله تعالى عليه was an eminent practicing scholar. Indeed, it was سيد قطب مدينة رحمة الله تعالى عليه who only could endure the severe hardships during the stay in Baghdad in Mualla. And while residing in مدينة طيبة after leaving his hometown. He رحمة الله تعالى عليه was extreme well-mannered personality. Whenever anyone would visit him, he would very often Rahmatullahi ta'ala utter marhaba, marhaba, welcome, welcome, loudly. Alhamdulillahi azza wa jalla, likewise, when Sage Madina, Amir Ahle Sunnat, Damat Barakatuhu Aliya is writing this word, she used to visit him my Shaykh says, when I used to visit him, he rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi would say, Marhaba, brother Ilyas. Marhaba, brother Ilyas. By doing this, he rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi would please me much. He rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi was very hospitable and humble. Sage Madina Afi An observed it repeatedly that whenever he rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi was requested to make dua he rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi would state i pray for you and request you to pray for me as well allahu akbar allahu akbar dear respected viewers of madani channel what lessons are we learning from this blessed seerah of sayyidi qutb madina rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi we need to be humble we need to also develop the habit of being humble and down to earth. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, life is too short. If Allah Taala has blessed us with ni'mas, if Allah Taala has given us the blessings of wealth, blessings of health, if Allah Taala has given us beauty, if Allah Taala has given us other ni'mas, we should never ever be proud 
we should never be arrogant rather we should always be humble and down to earth because that is he azza wa jal he can take all these blessings back as well he has given us and we should be humble and down to earth another beautiful point what we learn from the seerah of sayyidi qutb madina rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi that he was very hospitable he would meet and greet wholeheartedly the viewers of madani channel nowadays this trait this quality is very much less amongst us in our societies we do not meet and greet wholeheartedly we don't like meeting people uh, with whole of our heart that's that's the problem we've got but subhanallah this wali of allah tabarak wa taala this friend of allah tabarak wa taala what a beautiful personality no matter whoever is coming he would meet and greet wholeheartedly and he was very much well mannered personality very much hospitable personality he would do the hospitality he would look after the guests and he would welcome his guests on the other hand what happens to us if any guest comes to us what is our response sometimes we don't feel good if guests come to us there are people who don't like that if guests are coming rather the islamic brothers and viewers of madani channel when guest comes subhanallah he brings blessings for the person where he is coming when he leaves he takes the sins of that person away subhanallah meaning when a guest comes the rahma descends and when that person who is a guest he leaves subhanallah subhanallah what happens then the islamic brothers his sins of that person who is the host his sins allah tbarak wa taala forgives so dear viewers of madani channel we should be happy if some guests are coming to our house we should be we should also be hospitable we should also look after them we should be happy from our heart that alhamdulillah guests have come to my house they have brought blessings for me and inshallah if i treat them nicely and with a good manners alhamdulillah allah tbarak wa ta'ala will forgive my sins sallu ala alhabib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam hey it would not be wrong to say that he rahmatullahi ta'ala alay was devotee of the beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam dhikri rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam was his consuming passion he rahmatullahi ta'ala alay would frequently ask the pilgrims a question do you recite nat if the pilgrims or hujjaj said yes he then would listen to his nat and enjoy much many a time tears streamed down his face due to being emotional mahfil milad maulid used to be held at his blessed residence daily throughout the year allahu akbar pilgrims from madina turkey pakistan india syria egypt africa sudan and from all over the world would attend it alhamdulillah azza wa jal sagay madina afian my sheikh tarikat he writes about himself had the privilege to recite nat in the sacred mahfil many times subhanallah subhanallah one thing that sagay madina afian observed in the mahfil of qutb madina is that he rahmatullah ta'ala alay did not use to lead dua at the end of the mahfil showing humbleness allahu akbar but rather asked any of the attendees to lead the dua once or twice i was also privileged to lead dua in accordance with the saying al amru fawq al adab that is to say that order is superior to respect to have the opportunity of leading the dua at the end of the mahfil ma sheikh tariqat amir ahl sunnah maulana muhammad ilyas attar qadri damat barakatuh wal aliyah says this blessed langar food served to offer isal thawab and used to be arranged daily after the dua allahu akbar is tabib with us 
This is the beauty of awliya kiram. This is their, the beauty of their character. Subhanallah. They, whenever anyone goes to them, they do not only fulfill the thirst of their spirit, their soul. They do not only make arrangements for the food of their spirit, food of their soul, but subhanallah for their physical body too. Dear Islamic brother, it's one of the beautiful ibadah to feed people. And awliya kamaleen, friends of Allah wa ta'ala, are well aware of this good deed. They always feed people, subhanAllah, and they get closeness to Allah wa ta'ala. So this is also a beautiful lesson to learn, that if you want closeness of Allah wa ta'ala, you should also feed people. We should also feed Muslims. We should also feed those that do not have food. We should look after them. And it is such a beautiful good deed that will take us closer in the court of Allah wa ta'ala. And this is what, subhanAllah, we are learning from the character of Sayyidi Qutb Madina, Ziauddin Madani, rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi. Sayyidi Qutb Madina rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi was a noble-minded and noble-natured saint, Wali. He rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi was very generous, affectionate and loving and would remind us of Salf Salihin, pious predecessors, rahimahumullahu ta'ala. He rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi used to state, no greed, no refusal, no accumulation, subhanAllah. It implies that do not be greedy that someone will give you something. And if someone gives you something without your asking, so do not refuse him. And when you take it, do not save it. Allahu Akbar. If someone presented him a perfume, he rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi would be pleased and make dua like this. Allahu ayyamakum. May Allah Azzawajal make your days fragrant. He rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi showed a deep devotion to the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam and Sayyiduna Ghafi Adam alayhi rahmatullahi al-akram. Once he rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi said, someone has said it beautifully. بعد مردن روح تن اس طرح سے تقسیم ہو روح تیبہ میں رہے لا شاہ میرا بغداد میں. Subhanallah, that after I die, then my body and my soul are divided such beautifully that my physical body remains in Baghdad and my soul remains in Medina Tayyibah. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So this was the love of Sayyidi Qutb Medina, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayh, for Huzur, Ghawthul Aadham, Dastagir. Rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi. Sultanul awliya, the leader of the friends of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And subhanallah, on the other hand, for Sayyiduna Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallama, who is Imamul Anbiya, best of the creation. Sallu ala al Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa barik wa sallam. Many Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani Shailan. Today, as time does not permit me to go further on this beautiful personality, but insha'Allah we will continue on this personality. On upcoming Silsila, our next episode will also be on Sayyidi Qutb Madina Ziauddin Madani Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi. So today, whatever we have learned, inshallah, I hope you must have understood, you must have learned about this beautiful personality and the qualities he possessed. Alhamdulillah, you would have made this mindset that inshallah, you will act upon the beautiful Madani pearls what we have received from this personality who is a charismatic personality in the history of Islam, subhanAllah, who devoted his life for the sake of Deen Islam. May Allah wa ta'ala give us tawfiq and ability to act upon the beautiful uh, teachings of Deen Islam and follow the footsteps of these beautiful charismatic personalities. 
in the history of Islam. Ameen Bijahin Nabil Ameen. That's all for today. We'll come back with another beautiful episode in Silsila Charismatic Personalities of Islam. Until then, keep reciting Salawat upon Nabi alayhi salatu was salam. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are Muslims, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. We love our sins, Alhamdulillah. We love our sins, Alhamdulillah.